Yo, what's up guys? It's P9 back at it again and welcome to a new Unturned video. In today's video, I would like to talk about the new Unturned update that was dropped yesterday with the 8 years Unturned anniversary, which also means that I've been playing this game for 8 years now. <laughs> kind of crazy, right? Nelson did what I think everyone asked for at one point and it is a housing planner and if you don't know what this thing does which you there's a good chance you already do because this update has been out since yesterday it allows you to build and it doesn't just allow you to build but it allows you to build without waiting for this like really annoying animation each time you place an item but let me show you what i'm talking about here all you got to do is you need to craft all the structures you would like to place first which is still something that i think nets is going to improve in the future because it is it's still a bit uh, and now by holding T, which is the same keybind as checking out your attachments on your gun, uh, you have this menu, which is um, similar to Rust, for example, and where you can just select the structures you would like to place. So if I would want to place a maple floor, I'll click the maple floor and just look at that. Uh, it does a bit of a goofy uh, sound if you pay attention to it. Yeah, it's a goofy ass sound but like you can literally build bases within like seconds a and this is this is crazy don't get me wrong you can still just build the bases normally just by like crafting floors and you can place them and you can craft the pillars and you can place them which takes so long in comparison with this tool you can just boop boop but up boop Boop, bang, boots, pop, pop, pop. Like, this is just, <laughs> this is just amazing. I don't know what to tell you guys. A side effect of this item is uh, when holding it, you can also salvage uh, walls and other structures faster. Now, I am in a single player world right now, so like I can salvage really fast. It's actually not going to be uh, this fast for you guys, but you will be able to notice that you can salvage things faster. There's only two ways of obtaining this item. You either find it or you craft it yourself. You can find it in construction areas like this here uh, by killing construction zombies or just finding it somewhere around. Now I have been doing some tests and the drop rate is kind of low I guess but then again it depends on what server you play on what the spawn rate is and everything but it is not as common like you won't find it every time you go here and the second option is you just craft it yourself with one range finder and one GPS the GPS very common in military locations the range finder more rare in military locations or I guess from mega zombies you get them even more often so range finder definitely not something you get all the time but this is how you craft the housing planner Another big part of the update was brick structures being buffed heavily. As you know, brick structures were very, very, very useless. I mean, the only use they really had is they look kind of cool and unique, I guess. Especially if you mix them with some like metal pillars, they look pretty cool. And I just got a dragon fang here and I want to shoot uh, all the structures and look how many bullets it takes for you to really realize how good brick walls are now. This maple wall took 14 dragon fang shots, very weak. Oh no, the zombies are now coming. As you saw, 74 rounds for the metal wall. And now let's get to the brick wall and as you can see, it is really, really really strong now can i even get this down with one drain thing box i can i can just all right it took me 110 dragon fang rounds for this brick wall and let's see how many charges it takes because i haven't checked that out actually um i'm gonna do three because three usually takes down a metal wall and it still stands at 10 percent meaning you actually need four charges for a brick wall and this is pretty pretty good i guess the only downside is that there's no brick roofs and no brick floors so the new meta is going to be raiding from top down or from the bottom 
up because if you get in a situation where there is brick walls all around you then you are kind of screwed this is going to be expensive another thing that nelson wants to get completely rid of is stacking items such as walls or even claim flags as you know previously you were able to hide claim flags inside walls but as you can tell no matter on how much you rotate your walls it does not work anymore but i can see that you can still do it with wardrobes i mean it looks like that still works yet another thing that was improved was item snapping so that you can now easier snap like floors and stuff even like from the outside so you literally don't have to go up to that foundation to then like sort of like snap it towards it uh, you can just stand here and build like this and this is much better it feels much smoother much easier uh very very well done these were the biggest additions to the game if you would like to check out the whole unturned update log make sure to check out the link in the description i mean there is more stuff that got added especially when it comes to server hosting uh server maintaining and also some modded stuff here and there nelson did say that he still wants to improve the building mechanics in general this is just the first step which is really exciting definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think about this whole update let me know your thoughts maybe some suggestions or improvements if nelson will see this video and without further ado i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one peace out